starting hello everyone he hello everyone who is uh, watching this live q a for um, london the 11th london kurdish film festival and uh, today is the first day of the festival we have uh, watched five films belonging to the theme beyond borders I am here today with um, the director of the film Schwan, which was the last film we premiered today, uh, Bijan Zarin, and um, his good friend Aydin, who is going to be interpreting um, the, the Q&As uh, for, for us and for him. And um, I'm going to um, start first with uh, intro introducing the film. Schwan is a film about uh, the, the coal bars, which is uh, the uh, kind of trans border porters, Kurdish transborder um, porters, or if you, you want to call it smugglers, who um, uh, who take goods from one side of the Kurdish border for, to the other side. Specifically in this occasion, probably from the Iraqi Kurdistan to the Iranian Kurdistan or the other way around. I allow Shuan to explain uh, more about this uh, himself. This is specifically a very um, up-to-date topic because recently there has been a hashtag going around in, in among Iranian social media, uh, which was hashtag uh, stop killing coal bars, uh, in a way, or hashtag coal bar nakoshit. Uh, so for, for, for that reason, this, uh, this film specifically is a film of our time. Um, hello, uh, Shuan, and thank you very much for accepting to take part uh, in this Q&A, and apologies again for uh, being quite late and um, with, our, um, with, with this Q&A, with, with the technical issues that we had. I'm going to first start with asking you to introduce yourself and uh, the films that you have made, the films that you have acted in, and also to introduce Shuan, this beautiful film that um, uh, you, you are taking part in the London Kurdish Film Festival with. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Bijan Zari. It's a pleasure uh, for me to be a part of this festival. Uh, my friend Aydin is here uh, to help me for a uh, better translation uh, and uh, I'm here uh, for answer to your question. Uh, uh, so, uh, my name is Bijan, not Shuan. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I say Shuan? I'm very sorry. No problem. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, خب من بیژن زرین هستم و حدود در واقع 6 ساله که دارم فیلم سازی میکنم قبل از اون بازیگری تاعت میکردم حدود 15 سال در تاعت فعالیت کردم تاعت هرفهی ایران So my name is بیژن زرین and uh, I have been uh, um, directing for 6 years and prior to that overall I've been acting for 15 years uh, uh, and uh, to introduce uh, to introduce uh, Shuan, the film that you have made, and per perhaps uh, ideally some of the other films that you have made, if you if you want, but specifically have a focus on introducing Shuan, this film. Okay, okay. پروداکت داشتم و هزینه براش کردم به کمک تهیه کننده خوبی که داشتم حسن شمس تونستیم این فیلم رو در واقع فیلم حرفه‌ای بسازیم so i had made uh, three movies prior to this movie um, uh, which were uh, shown in uh, local iranian festivals but this was my first attempt to make a bigger production uh, with a with a good cast and uh, you know with good investment and thank to uh, the producer, Hassan Shams. Mr. Hassan Shams, who has been a great part in uh, making this dream come true. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to start with the pool I was always afraid of the pool bars. 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 So uh, first, I'd like to talk about the coal bars issue. Uh, from the first time I heard about this issue, it has always been a great concern for me. But why is it that these people, these human beings, 
have to work so hard and go through so so much trouble just to make ends meet and uh, just earn a little bit of money. من چه فکر می‌کنم که یه کاری باید بکنم برای این قضیه ولی خب کاری از دست من بر نمی‌اومد. تا اینکه تصمیم گرفتم یه فیلم در موردشون بسازم. So, so I always thought it's a responsibility and it's something that I would like to do, but uh, I, there, there is nothing I could do except do what I can do is to make a film. And that's basically what's... Uh, و من هدفم از ساخت این فیلم uh, تنها یک چیز بود. این که بگم ما صدای شما رو میشنمیم. Uh, ما میفهمیم شما چقدر سختی میکشیم. ولی خب uh, کاری نمیتونیم بکنیم. Uh, so uh, the biggest goal for me to, to make this movie was to, to basically tell these people that we can hear you, to cool bars, that we can hear you um, and, and, and we're there for you, but there's just nothing we can do for you at the moment. Uh, we're limited. And the next thing that is that why a person doesn't matter what community, what community is there. چرا یک انسان که اومده روی زمین برای ابتدایی ترین چیزهایی که هر موجود زنده ازش سهم داره باید اینقدر سختی بکشه اینو من نمیفهمم این خارج از هر دولت و هر حکومته so uh, another question is that i have never been able to fathom or understand is that why is it that a human being uh, should be deprived of the most basic rights and that's just uh, you know to, to feed himself and his family to make a living and regardless of race or nationality it's just something that i can never understand it's beyond my understanding man dar vaqt khastam ba sakht in film tanha mitunam begam gerami az sanginiy bar rudush in kul barha kam konam va hadafam az sakht in film in nist ke va in nabud hech vaqt ke biyam tuy festival ha va matrah besham va begam ke bebinid bijan zarin che film sakhte من هدفم این بود این فیلم رو بسازم که به گوش کسانی که باید برسه شاید من در این حد کار از دستم برمیاد شاید یک کس دیگه بتونه این کار بزرگتر بکنه so uh, my intention has never been to enter festivals and show my name and show what i can do what i'm capable of uh, my intention in making this movie was just if possible just to Uh, lift even one gram of weight from their load that they're carrying by just making their uh, voices heard, just to be a voice for them. Um, maybe some people in charge, maybe people who can do something, maybe they can hear their voice. Maybe we can basically uh, show their faces uh, and, and, and show the world what's, what it is that they're going through. film uh, yeah. So now we can take other questions about the film. خب من فیلم رو توی کردستان ایران سنندج به واسطه دوست خوبی که داشتم که نقش اصلی رو بازی می‌کرد اسعد فریدی هماهنگی‌ها رو انجام دادم که من اونجا فیلم رو بسازم و به شدت کمک‌های ایشون به من کمک کرد. So uh, the making of this movie was uh, possible Uh, for one of, because of one of my good friends, uh, Asad Faridi in Sanandaj, uh, who, uh, who made many things possible for me to actually work there and, and get the production going. I was very So Hassan Shams and I uh, developed this, you know, further developed this idea and started the film uh, despite all the troubles and hardship that we actually had. You know, the situation was not easy. من یک تیم تقریبا چهل نفره داشتم اونجا که ترکیب بود از بچه تهران و سنندج و ما با هم حدود چهل نفر بودیم که این فیلم رو تولید کردیم و ما توی شرایط بسیار سخت که توی کوهستان برف گرفت و برف اونقدر شدید شد که ماشین های ما دیگه نمیتونستن حرکت کنن من اونجا فقط به یک چیز فکر کردم گفتم من دارم ماکت چیزی رو میسازم که پول برها سال هاست دارن باهاش دست و پنجه نرم میکنن یک روز ما برفیر شدیم و تیم نمیدونست باید چی کار کنه So the team was comprised of, the production team was comprised of 40 people um, uh, working in really severe conditions, uh, snow and storm. And throughout the production, 
which only took us a few days, all I was thinking was that we are creating uh, ju uh, just a facade and just a picture of what these cool virus are going through on a daily basis. And, and, and you know, for me to actually experience it firsthand was, uh, was an intensive, a like, very intense experience. So we can take any questions. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you have uh, already answered uh, some of my questions in uh, in the answer that you have given to to the very complete, um, comprehensive answer that you have given. Um, uh, good that you mentioned that. So you, you were a crew of forty people, and that's a large crew, relatively for uh, especially for a short film. And I can see that you face troubles in terms of like natural uh, troubles, the weather and the climate, as well as the cliffs and mountains of Kurdistan. So these are some of the challenges that you have faced. Um, but are there other challenges that y you, you um, focusing on these kind of topics would uh, face? Did, where, did anyone stop you from making this film, for example? Because this is quite, sometimes it can be sensitive issue, sensitive topic to make a film about coal bars. So did you have um, any other challenges? Generally, tell us a bit about your challenges as a, as a filmmaker. It can be technical challenges or any other kind of challenges. And also, you mentioned that you were a crew of 40 people from, from Kurdistan as well as from Tehran. And so, so you were not just only Kurdish people making films. And did you have any language barriers between any of the actors and any, any of the crew? And generally, as, as a Kurd making this film in Iran, what were your challenges as a Kurd as well? Generally, tell us a bit about your challenges. Okay. Uh, من زمانی که اونجا بودم فقط با مهمان نوازی در واقع روبرو شدم و چه بخش فنی چه بخش روستایی کسانی که توی روستا بودن چه بخش تقریبا میتونم بگم کسانی که میتونستن کارهای دولتی انجام بدن برای مجوز و کارهای فیلم برداری از جمله آقای سالم صلواتی به شدت فقط کمک میکردم so it is Kurdistan and Kurdish people that we're talking about here. Uh, they are extremely hospitable um, and their flexibility was beyond our, um, our anything that we've ever experienced, whether people who were from the local governments who were Kurdish, uh, that they were helping us uh, with, the, uh, with the permits, or whether it was the people from the village or the locals. Everybody was so helpful, so nice and so hospitable. Uh, that um, really made it easier. So Mr. Salawati, Salam Salawati was one of the uh, local officials who actually helped us getting the permits and, and making this uh, production actually a very smooth production. Yeah. Tell us a bit about language barrier as well, because I don't know if you speak Kurdish yourself, for example. So uh, about the language barrier in making it. خب ما اونجا تأکیدی داشتیم از بچهای تهرانی و کردی در واقع کردستان و من خودم زبانشونو میفهمم. خب من خودم کرد کرمانشاه هم زبان ما خب زبان کردی کلهوره یکم سر این قضیه تفاوت هست ولی تفاوت زیاده ولی خب من میفهمیدم که چی میگن بچه ها با من کردی صحبت میکردم و میتونستم در واقع منظورم رو بهشون برسونم بچه هم که خود بچه کردستان فارسی صحبت میکنن کاملا و این میشد که ما خیلی تبادل خوبی داشتیم اتفاقا بچه هایی هم که از تهران با من اومده بودن برای این فیلم همشون فقط میگفتن که چقدر اینجا کار کردن آرامش داره so uh, I am from Kerman Shah. Um, uh, although I just understood the, the, the local dialect, uh, for me, it was not um, a, a huge challenge to, to communicate with the locals. Uh, so part of the group was the local Kurdish people who actually spoke Farsi and the crew that came from Tehran. Um, so they spoke Farsi uh, with these guys. And what they were telling me was that what a great environment uh, to be a part of, what a great environment to work in. So really, uh, communication was not a barrier that we had to deal with. 
در مورد داستان فیلم که ما چطور خب یکم آره به این موضوع چون حساسیت روش هست مجوه سخت میدم اینجا من مجموع میشم بگم من فیلم نامه دیگه ای رو در واقع معرفی کردم برای گرفتن مجوزات خب I had to actually kind of uh, um, present a kind of a different version of this uh, script to get the permit and get the production going. And that's basically how I got around the, uh, you know, um, issues that I might face with actually with the, 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 the actual uh, script. That, that is actually quite interesting. But after the film is finished, do they also review it to give the final okay to it? So it was already beyond that point we had made the movie and we actually started presenting it to the festival. Knock on wood, we haven't had any issues. Fantastic. Thank you. سورانی کردستان اسعد فریدی رو انتخاب کردم برای نقش شوان نقش هیشو در واقع زن شوان رو دادم به ترسکی جولا که از کورتای مهاباده و نقش کامیا رو دادم به عرشیا زرین که کرد کرمانشاه یعنی من خواستم این یک پارچیدی و یک دستی رو تا یک جایی بتونم بگم که آقا فرقی نداره همش همش اون یکی هم. So in terms of the cast, um, uh, the interesting thing was I chose uh, the, the cast from different areas of the uh, of of of, uh, of Kurds. Um, the main cast, uh, Shwan, uh, Mr. Faridi Asad Faridi, is from uh, Sarandaj, and his wife, Yishu, is from from Mahabad, and. Uh, And, and who plays Kamyar here, uh, who's also his brother, uh, is uh, from a different area. So basically by choosing this cast, I wanted to show the unity between the Kurdish people and showing that we're all actually come together and through this unity we can make this production and send this message. Well, what a good idea and what a beautiful film. Um, I want to move on now because we are we have only about five minutes left uh, to uh, to our time for this Q and A. I want to move on to ask you about your um, future projects and what you're working on at the moment. In in any of the, the, I know that you do different things in terms of in the world of art and filmmaking. So what are you, what is the project that you're working on at the moment, and what are the projects that you're planning to work on in future? And what is the future for this film, this specific film as well? شوان من همچنان تلاش میکنم که بتونم در جشنواره های بیشتری این رو نمایش بدم و در نهایت بتونم بفروشمش به شبکه هایی که ارزش قائلم برای این جنس کار و نمایشش بدم So in terms of شوان to get the message across um, I'd like to send it to as many festivals as I can so eventually maybe I could have one of the respected channels actually broadcast it, show it and help us in spreading the message Uh, برای پروژه بعدی من uh, یه توضیح قبلش بدم فیلم های قبلی هم که من ساختم همشون درباره دغدغه های اجتماعی بوده یعنی همون سه تا فیلم قبلی هم uh, شوان هم همینطور فیلم بعدی هم که در واقع دارم روی فیلم نامش کار میکنم uh, به اسم شنگال یا سنجار درباره کورت های ایزدیه uh, و در واقع اون دیگه بلند بخوام بسازم اولا اگر شرایطش بشه امکاناتش فراهم بشه تصمیم اونه که فیلم بلند بسازم و در مورد یک آره بدون So um, as I mentioned that my three previous uh, films that I had made those were also about uh, social issues um, which is my concern um, and so is uh, Shuan which is also another uh, social issue And, uh, and my ne next project that I'm working on, Sanjar or Shangal, Shangal is about the Izadi Kurds. Um, and uh, uh, it's about. In the case of the Izadi Kurds, 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 the
مشکلات و معضلاتی بعد از جنگ در واقع روبروه اینکه تأثیر جنگ فقط حین جنگ نبوده بعدش که حالا اینا بر میگردن به خانواده خودشون اینا هر کدوم چه حالی دارن مسلما هیچ کدوم اون آدم قبلی نیستن So he also mentioned earlier that this is going to be his first uh, long film if everything works and um, if he can find all the, what he needs. The movie uh, is around the central character who's a woman uh, who is in captivity uh, in, uh, with Daesh or ISIS and um, she basically runs away and uh, she runs from captivity. And what I'm trying to show in this movie is that uh, the issues we're dealing with is not just during the war. We have post, um, post issues after the war happens and what this character has to deal with even after she leaves her captivity. Thank you so much, thank you. And so in the two minutes that we have left, uh, What is your advice for other filmmakers, especially young independent filmmakers um, who want to make their films, either first film or generally who want to make their films? There's how to overcome challenges, how to overcome making the first film and uh, how to generally get the, get the ball rolling? Uh, مرسی بابت این سوال اما من میتونم بگم خودم الان در این جایگاه نمیبینم که برای کس دیگه ای بخوام در مورد فیلمسازی نظری بدم فقط میتونم همین تجربه کوتاهی که دارم کوچیکی که دارم توی این زمینه رو بتونم منتقل کنم و اینکه اون چیزی که واقعا به عنوان دغدغه ذهنیه باید ساخته بشه نه اینکه ما دنبال داستان قشنگ باشیم چه چیزی توی ذهن ذهن رو درگیر میکنه به اون سمت بریم و احساس میکنم فیلم فیلم موفق تری میشه so I appreciate the good question I just don't think at the moment um, I should be the one giving any advice to uh, to, to young filmmakers uh, since I'm just basically also experiencing uh, the same road and making films all I can do is just share, share my own experience and um, and uh, w- that I have uh, gained through this past years and the only thing I can tell you is that they should focus uh, the narrative or what they're making about something that is their concern something they're it's really important to them and to their environment um, and to the world and I think that would make a good start okay thank you and um, any other final words that you want to share with us and with our audience فقط اینکه امیدوارم واقعا روزی برسه که نمیخوام شعار بدم نمیتونیم ما نمیتونیم فقر رو از زندگی حذف کنیم همیشه بوده نمیتونیم جنگ رو حذف کنیم نمیتونیم مریض رو حذف کنیم این چیزهایی که با بشر از ابتدا بودن نمیتونیم بگیم امیدوارم اینا تموم بشه نه ولی امیدوارم روزی شرافت انسانی هر کسی بتونه حفظ بشه Uh, so I don't want to give any slogans uh, or just uh, uh, things like that. Uh, we will probably never be able to re- uh, eradicate poverty or stop any war or, or, or basically remove any big problem, human problem from the face of the earth. Uh, but one thing that I really hope that from the bottom of my heart is that we can one day we could uh, get to a point where human dignity is preserved and people can 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 live with uh, having their dignity and they don't have to fight for it thank you and um, we look forward to seeing your film about uh, shangal and hopefully with your in that film and other future films we will be able to again have you at london kurdish film festival and hopefully you will be in london and hopefully we'll show your film in a big screen in cinema and you'll be there and next time hopefully I'll have the Q&A in, uh, in a physical space in London with you. امیدوارم امیدوارم خیلی ممنون تشکر میکنم از جشنواره خیلی خوبتون و زحمتی که میکشید توی این شرایط سخت مخصوصا حالا بیماری کرونا واقعا میدونم برگزاری جشنواره و کلا هماهنگیش خیلی کار مشکلیه از همتون تشکر میکنم. So I appreciate uh, you and your great festival. It's an honor to be a part of this festival. Uh, I understand uh, during this COVID-19 and uh, uh, what the world is going through, it's really hard to put together such a great festival. And um, I thank you for your time and uh, I hope to see you guys too, to see you guys too.
Thank you so much for your time and hope to see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. به کیف خوشی تماشا بکنید